Yeah. All right, how you doing, young lady? What's your name? Myra. And how old are you? I'm 33 years old. 33. I'm from uh, K&A, born and raised. Um, my drug of choice is fentanyl, cocaine, and trank. I do the speedball. Um, I just came back from Florida, actually. I just relapsed. I had three, three and a half months clean. Um, that shit was great. I regret coming back over here. And uh, yeah, I was doing pretty good over there. What made you go down to Florida? Um, I was doing really bad over here. Like, uh, from the trank, from the trank. Well, what the trank does is it eats your skin because tranquilizers are for animals and we are not animals. So it's, what it does is it eats, it eats my skin. Like my body rejects it. So it's giving me a big abscess on my leg where I couldn't walk for a month. I was in a wheelchair. So I had to go. That sh that they gave me a wake up call because I lost my arm. My arm got amputated a year ago, almost. And yeah, I was trying to lose my leg too. So. It was either that or lose my leg too. Oh, right, right. So it was a wake up call. So, Definitely um, changed my life a lot. So you went to um Florida and um yep. how long was you in Florida for? I was in Florida for um three and a half months. Three and a half months. So what made you come back? Just coming back, just being stubborn because I didn't have to come back. Want to come back and see people? And yeah, see people and miss my kids. But honestly, like once, once I came out here, I, I forgot about all that. I didn't even see my kids yet. They didn't matter. Wow. Yeah. And how long has it been since you um since left Florida? Yeah. Um, it's been two weeks. Two weeks now, yeah. and you came back to see your kids, and you never wound up seeing your kids. Yeah. Like you see my kids and haven't even seen them. They don't even want to see me. That's They're mad at me. That's terrible. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel like uh, stupid because I could have just stood there, you know, and had them on my side and finished doing what I had to do. That was good. Yeah. You know? That's like being clean makes me feel feel good. And going through this again just got me fucked up in the head. That be the hard part because that's the first week is the hardest part. Yeah. Once you get over that little week, that week and two weeks, huh? And I got through it. It's, it's e it's, it gets easier it's after easier, that. Yep. But going through that one week, that is the that part is so hard. Oh, that that's why people stay out here. They can't get through that it's one scared. week. Yeah. They scared. They think it's not gonna you're not gonna get through it. You will. Yeah. You'll get through it. I did. It took me a month to get through it. Yeah. 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 Back out to rehab. Got to Florida, but yeah, back to rehab. You, you was gonna try it and fill it up here. Yeah, just go back. You know that's you know. If I, I hope. If I did it over there, I could do it. <laughs> I went over there with a two two bundle habit. That was rough. 
I hope so. I hope it work out for you. I want to see everybody clean out here. I really do. Yeah. So we you, we still I still wanted to talk a little bit about um how how, how to make um how what was the process of your um arm getting imitated? Um how how did they how did they come about? Oh like, well, so uh, so about like three four years ago, I started um shooting up like really bad because my boyfriend I was with he OD and before he OD he used to shoot me up. I didn't know how to do it on my own. So finally when um, I started doing it on my arm, I used to skin pop a lot and I used to get abscesses on my arm and I didn't take care of that for three years. It took me three years to go to the hospital. By the time I got to the hospital, it was to the bone. It was that bad. Hello, grab a sandwich. Oh, yes, please. Se puede dar. que está haciendo un interview. ¿Habla español? Sí. Gracias. ¿Me puede pasar un sandwich ahí? Thank you. Just can you put a sit right there? Thank you. I know you can't grab no your hand. Yeah, I don't want no my hand. Me está haciendo video online. Gracias. Sí, pero no puede cogerlo, eh. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry, no, you can't grab. I know. Please. Hello. And uh, you were anyway. talking about um your... about the whole amputation and yeah. yeah, so it took me three years and then when I went to the hospital, it was so bad, it was no saving. But that was like the hardest decision I had to make in my life because you know, I'm I'm a right handed and I lost my right arm and I had to make that decision within days, you know, days apart. Like I went to the hospital, the next day they like either you cut it or you die because I was more septic. I wasn't feeling no drugs. I wasn't. I was got a uh, really high fever. I was throwing up everywhere. Like it was bad. It was bad. So yeah, cutting my arm saved my life. It so did. they told you you didn't cut it. You was going. You was going to die. die. Yep. And how did they give you a time period? Uh, how long I was gonna die? Yes. They don't give me no more than six months. So they so they pretty much gave you six months to live yep. before you cut your arm off. Yep. If I didn't cut my arm off. And you off, had a couple days to make this decision. Yep, I had within two days to make that decision. Wow, that's they a said, lot. Yep, it was like, you gotta sign these papers. You gotta sign, you know? So, yeah, I did it in them two days, and that was hard. Was it a decision? It, it was a hard decision for you to make? Oh, man. You thought about not cutting it off? Yeah. I thought about not doing it, like, a million times. But then I thought about it again, like, and if I don't, like, I'm really about to lose my life. You know what I mean? Like, and my arm was, was bad. It was like so swollen, I couldn't handle the pain. Wow. The pain was unbearable. Wow. You see that shit, it's common now. Like everybody going through that. And I'm so glad that I'm over that part. Wow. Yeah, they giving out hot dogs. Man. Would you, would you wanna, um. You got over? 